Uh, hello, my loves, my tiny little friends. Um, we are going to do one more chapter in Sideways Stories from Wayside School. Hopefully this one is just a really nice chapter with nice kids who say nice things and are kind to each other. Because this second half of this book's been a little bit rough. But you know what? I still love this book. This chapter is called Allison. And here is the picture. And we are in chapter 23. All right. Allison had pretty blonde hair and she always wore a sky blue windbreaker. Her windbreaker was the same color as her eyes. She was best friends with Rondi. Rondi had blonde hair too, but she was missing her two front teeth. Allison had all of her teeth. Allison used to say that she knocked Rondi's teeth out. Allison was very pretty, so all the boys in Mrs. Jewel's class teased her, especially Jason. But Allison said, You leave me alone or I'll knock your teeth out like I did Rondi's. The boys didn't bother her after that. One day, Allison brought a tangerine for lunch. She took the peel off in one piece. Mrs. Mush, the lunch teacher, walked up to her. Allison, may I have your tangerine? She asked. Miss Mush always gave food to the children, so Allison was happy to give her tangerine to Miss Mush. Miss Mush shoveled into her mouth and swallowed it in less than four seconds. Allison left the lunchroom and walked down to the library. The lunchroom was on the 15th story. The library was on the 7th. Allison already had her book. She just wanted to go to the library because it was nice and quiet there. The librarian walked up to Allison. What are you reading? She asked. Allison told her the name of the book. That sounds like a good book, said the librarian. I never read that one. May I borrow it? Librarian always lent books to the children, so Allison thought it would be... She, she, Allison was glad to be able to return the favor. She gave the librarian the book and she walked down the stairs outside to the playground. All of Allison's friends were playing freeze tag. Allison didn't like playing. She reached into her pocket of her sky blue windbreaker and took out a tennis ball. She bounced it a couple of times on the ground. Lewis came up to her. Hey, Allison, he said. May I play with your tennis ball? Lewis always gave balls to the children, so Allison happily gave her ball to Lewis. Lewis threw a ball all the way to the other side of the playground, and then he went chasing after it. Alice didn't, Allison didn't feel like doing anything. Jason ran up and tagged her. You're frozen, he said. Get out of here before I knock your teeth out, said Allison. Jason shoved, shrugged his shoulders and left. Allison went back inside and up the 30 flights of stairs to Mrs. Jules's room. Lunch period wasn't over yet, but Allison didn't feel like doing anything else. She had given her food to the lunch teacher, her book to the librarian, and her ball to the yard teacher. She went inside the classroom. Mrs. Jules was there. Oh, Allison, I'm glad you're here, said Mrs. Jules. I'm having trouble with an arithmetic problem. Maybe you can help. Sure, said Allison. Mrs. Jules always helped the children with their problems, and Allison was happy to help. How do you spell chair? said Mrs. Jules. C-H-A-I-R, said Allison. Yes, that's right, said Mrs. Jules. I knew it wasn't C-H-A-R-E, but I couldn't remember what it was. That's not an arithmetic problem, said Allison. That's spelling. Arithmetic is math. You're, oh, yes, you're right again, said Mrs. Jules. I always get the two mixed up. The bell rang. The lunch period was over. Allison could hear the other children running up the stairs. Allison, said Mrs. Jules, you learned a very important secret today. And I don't want you to tell any of the other children, not even Rondi. What's that? asked Allison. She didn't even know she learned a secret. She loved secrets. You learn that children are really smarter than their teachers, said Mrs. Jules. Oh, that's no secret, said Allison. Everybody knows that. That was a silly chapter. But you know what I liked about that chapter? She was nice and kind and sharing and wasn't mean or cruel. <laughs> so um, obviously I have very low standards at this point, but I love you guys very much. And I'm glad we got a little bit of a positive chapter. And uh, we will see you next time. I love you, my little moochie moos. Thank <sniffs> you.